Next, we'll learn about the cubital fossa. This is a really easy one and great for medical students and um, junior doctors. So start by drawing a large triangle. And then within this, draw a smaller triangle. The smaller triangle is biceps brachii tendon. And above this, you have biceps brachii. And then on the medial side, you have pronator teres. And on the lateral side, you have brachioradialis. The next step is that we're going to add in the artery. So on the medial side of the tendon, you add in the brachial artery. And then this divides into the radial artery and the ulnar artery. The ulnar artery then passes deep to the muscle and joins the ulnar nerve further down in the arm. This is a really useful um, thing to know, as if you need to find the artery for an arterial line, then if you feel the tendon with a flexed arm and then straighten the arm, you'll always find it on the medial side. Virtually always. So then on the lateral side, we'll add in the radial nerve. And this has a posterior interosseous branch. And then we've already done the ulnar nerve here. And then here we add in the median nerve on the medial side. And then finally, we think about the veins. So this is useful for venous cannulation. So I draw a large H shape. Obviously, it varies between people exactly what it looks like. And then on the lower side, or medial, you have the basilic vein. On the upper side, nearest the head, is the cephalic vein. And for joining them is a median cubital vein. So when I think of a cubital fossa, I'll show you now. This is my arm. It lies here. So if I hold my arm up to the sky, the top side, cephalic vein, is near the head. And the bottom side is basilic, and that's medial.